Hi all. A while back I had done a video receiving my Scorpion EXO 900 helmet in the mail and I've used it for over a month now and got some feedback on how it's working for me. Uh, the fit and head grip of the helmet with the padding now after the padding settled from use is very very good. Uh, when they're new always often stiff and getting the helmet on your head uh, this right here is loosened up a lot so and that makes it a lot easier to uh, get it on your head especially when you wear glasses which is one of the reasons why uh, i'm almost exclusively uh, with modular helmets uh, the noland helmets here one of my original ones is not to to compare with but but more to contrast so the airflow on the scorpion uh, of all the helmets that i've had I, it's one of the better ones. Uh, you got an opening here that's large, opening here that's large, and then one out the back. And that's pretty normative. Uh, the Nolan has this also, but the openings are smaller. And, I, and I'm hoping this will show in the camera, but something that was uh, critical with these helmets is when is this right here opening. And I imagine wind does this. I've taken it off and it's almost closed. And on really hot days when I've had to take and do is take this open. So you won't have any of those issues with, with the Scorpion. Uh, open feature. There's not really an open feature with this helmet. Um, I believe this is where the yeah, the gearing sets. The Nolan has an open feature. It's about right there. But in high wind, uh, this will slam shut. Uh, this this does the same thing also. You can kind of set it here and to help with defogging. Uh, but at high speed, this will this will also shut. And speaking of uh, uh, fog, if you're in very cold temperatures or or for whatever reason the conditions cause your breath flow to be really warm inside the helmet, uh, fogging inside the helmet can be a real problem. Uh, Nolan uses a feature that you attach inside. I don't know if you can see it, see it in here. They call it a pin lock system. And there's an inside film that they put in here. Um, but also it was just inside the house and some moisture's developed <laughs> between the two, two, two shielding. So I don't know why, um, but um, these do need replacement once in a while. There's supposed to be some built right into the Scorpion shield some anti-fog capability and they do seem to work on a moderate level if you get into really cold conditions uh, the, this helmet's uh, uh, pin lock anti-fog systems I, I found for me to outperform and I sometimes have ridden in pretty cold conditions um, this you could probably compensate at a slow speed by cracking it open a little bit and uh, so for attaching a camera which we obviously if you're watching this Probably like me, you like to do that. Uh, the Nolan was a little bit rough because the way the construction of the helmet was. Uh, we could put one back here. Um, this, it looks like you can put one in front, the side, with a arm could go over right here, uh, maybe up here. There, there's just a lot of a lot of good options with the, with the Scorpion. Uh, the Sun Shield. Now for the Nolan, I found this mechanism rather rough and to get it up and sometimes when you're trying to get it up uh, you end up jerking the whole helmet on your head just to get it back up and and it's really dark the shield on here is really dark uh, this one up is down down is up it's a much better easier mechanism and this the, the the shield here isn't doesn't make things so dark and and what i'm saying is is uh on hot summer days which I have uh, somebody in dark clothing steps out of the shadow into a out of shadows into a crosswalk on a sunny day which is common can be common in the town I live in or not even wait for the crosswalk just charge out in the road um, uh, this a little difficult to see with this so often I don't even use the, the shield on this this one I'm, I started to use a little bit more because it was a lot more I felt user friendly so past Past Scorpion helmets have come Snell certified. Uh, this one didn't, and I think I totally understand why. I, I read about this feature, but I didn't really focus too much on it because I never really would utilize it. 
if you pull this mechanism down, this turns into, well, actually, what it really reveals, it's really an open face helmet. You do have this uh, closing face mechanism here, but there's not much holding it on. Uh, there's just uh, these lips here that go into this little hole held by this mechanism. And so if you were to spill and take an impact here, I, I suspect this would probably break pretty easily. The Nolan's probably, I'm going to give it the nod in the, in the crash category uh, for getting out if you're training out on a track or something. I'm not sure I'd recommend this helmet. So, in fact, a lot of those kind of high speed conditions, generally modular helmets are not really recommended anyways, but I would, because of my glasses, I would be wedded to it whether I wanted to or not. Um, Cause I put on a full face helmet. I can't even get my glasses on poking the arms and through the padding. So, but yeah, both helmets are friendly for glasses. Um, I, I think if I'd have known about this, uh, just being so kind of flimsy, I'm actually not sure I would have bought this, knowing about this, so because I'm never going to use this aspect. But with that said, if that is of no concern to you, um, uh, airflow with the helmet's good, anti-fog is adequate, a lot of camera options, sunscreen's usable, uh, it's a good fitting helmet. Um, one of the things with the helmet, it doesn't really matter how good it is or how the features are, it doesn't mean anything if it doesn't fit your head. So you got to get a helmet that for starters is going to fit you properly because uh, some some are meant for more rounded heads some are more oval i think these kind of tilt to the more neutral oval shape heads so if you, if, if you even know your head head shape i really didn't until i got into exploring helmet fitting so but anyways this is the scorpion exo 900 um and if those are features you like um uh, I, th I think you'll be really pleased with this helmet. Um, this this is an old Nolan N103, and that wasn't really that was more just to here here to so I could offer comparisons and contrast. Um, they're both excellent helmets. You're gonna probably win with both. Um, but if uh, safety is of paramount importance for you, consider this this here as to whether you you may want to look. Th this is Scorpion, one of Scorpion's first mo attempts at modular. This, this is not that hard to get on, but now that I got a camera on me, it's going to, of course, be really hard. I couldn't see it from that angle well, so, but it, the, the thing slips on really easily and comes off easily. So, but anyways, there you go. Thanks.